So it's my pleasure and honor to address you at this Shark Alliance event organized in Lisbon uh, at FLAD. Uh, in fact, uh, shark conservation or marine biodiversity issues in general are very relevant for Portugal. We are a fish-eating country. We are a fishing country. That means that we want to keep fishing. We want to keep eating fish. That means we need sustainability in fisheries. And in fact, I think we should uh, try to look at sustainability issues under a different perspective. We usually say there are three pillars, the environment pillar, the economic pillar, the social pillar. In fact, I tend to think that environment is more than just one pillar. It's the metrics where everything else lies. And uh, if you look at fisheries, if uh, we overexploit the biological basis of fisheries, if we destroy the biological basis of, of fisheries, all the rest goes. The, econ the economics of fisheries goes, employment in fisheries goes. And we don't want it to go. That is why we should pursue sustainability of fisheries in general. In particularly, uh, when we think of sharks, Sharks are long-lived, slowly reproducing organisms in general. That means we should have a special responsibility in how, how we address their management. Uh, in Portugal, we capture sharks and rays. We consume them, we export them, and we want to continue doing it. So uh, what's at stake? is not a battle against conservation and fisheries. It's not those that are pro-resources against those that are pro-fishermen. In fact, there are only pro-both fishermen resources or against both, against resources, against fishermen in the future. This is the way we should look into it. Uh, in 1999, the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization has agreed on an international plan for sharks. Um, calling for uh, all fishery organizations, all fishing nations to address, to elaborate their own national and regional plans for sharks. That is something that we see as very important from an European point of view. In fact, the European Commission has said, by, through Commissioner Joe Borg of Fisheries, through Commissioner Stavros, Stavros Dimas, that we should uh, do our plan at, United, at the European Union. We have in fact addressed that issue in the very beginning of our presidency, the, the ongoing presidency of the European Council that Portugal holds, that it would be good for Europe to elaborate its own plan for sharks, for shark management. On another relevant issue, we must uh, have in mind that uh, sharks uh, move globally, the, many of them migrate, and that the international trade of sharks is relevant. As several shark species are in fact now endangered species, it is natural that under the convention that regulates the international trade of endangered species, we should also look at sharks. Uh, I was proud to notice that the European Union has launched proposals to include two shark species under Annex 2 of this CITES Convention, the Convention on the International Trade of Endangered Species, that was in the Hague in June uh, this year. These proposals did get majority, but unfortunately not the two-thirds majority that was needed to, for them to be approved. I think the European Union should keep on going, taking the lead, pursuing these proposals for CITES also to take sharks into due, due account. My final remark goes on, on Portugal and the oceans. In 2008, next year, that will be the 10th anniversary of the International Year of the Oceans. As you all remember, Portugal has taken some lead in this issue in 1998, when the International Work Commission for the Oceans, led by Mario Soares, uh, has elaborated its document, uh, the book called Oceans, Our Future. In fact, I think it would be most adequate if in 2008 uh, fur further steps would have been uh, given towards marine biodiversity conservation, including sharks. I think if the title of the book was Oceans, Our Future, we can say in 2007, in 2008, that the future of oceans is right now.